ladies and gents, welcome to another repair video. In this video today, we're going to be working on yet another Xbox, and we have some beautiful looking decals here, which are very, very ugly, not beautiful. I absolutely hate these things. Uh, these are pretty annoying, seeing these, because they always peel up. But they're, they're just not good. Stop putting these on your console, guys. They just... Doesn't, doesn't make them look nice. Anyway. So today we're going to be working on another Xbox One S. This was sent in by a customer who has some very bored children. And the problem with this console is it's green screening. It's got the green screen of death. Um, or uh, rather it comes up to the Xbox screen and then doesn't go any further. Uh, customer said that the description of this was that it started lagging while, she, while the child was playing a game and then all of a sudden it just went off rebooted and no it won't come back on uh, so as you can see we have a beautiful intact warranty sticker which we're going to be adding to our collection uh, and yeah 90% chance this is going to be a hard drive issue but I haven't got one of these on the uh, on the channel yet so I thought I'd do a video um, it's going to be a fairly straightforward repair <coughs> so the customer is being charged £45 for this job that is £30 for the hard drive and then £15 for fitting. Uh, I suppose we better uh, we better test it first and see what's actually happening with it. That might be a good plan. Right, so let's pop you onto the screen. So we're going to pop in the HDMI lead now. There we go. And I'm going to turn it on in 3, 2, 1. And we're on. Okay, so basically what they said is this is loading up to the green screen and then it won't go any further. So there's the Xbox One screen. Okay, and it doesn't appear to go any further than this. We should be on the dashboard by now, but uh, no dice. Uh, and I said to the customer, she'd look if she got a screen at all, because when you get a failing hard drive in these, usually you get a black screen. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to pop this console open and uh, we're going to take the hard drive out, we're going to test it in the computer, see what it's reading we're going to try and clone the hard drive onto the computer and then we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and preserve the data in this one uh, because there's a lot of save games on here apparently and they want the save games saving if possible uh, so I'm going to try and clone the hard drive um, using the software we've got on the computer uh, and if not then of course we can always just completely wipe it and put a fresh hard drive in there. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to pop the power out because there's no point in holding it on the screen forever. So, power's out. I'll switch back over to my camera so I can see. I really need a second screen in here, but I just don't have any room. Uh, okay, so we're going to pop this console open. And I'm going to start off by removing this beautiful warranty sticker. And that's going to go to my collection. There we go. So this is out of warranty anyway. By exactly one month to the day. Apparently. Which is fairly typical, of course. Here is our hard drive, where's the serial number, there it is, so WL19KXDA, okay, I'm going to pop you onto my desktop view now, there 
we go. And let's plug in the hard drive. I really need to plug my dock in somewhere. And let's load up crystal disk info. So all of these partitions are going to load up and just annoy the life out of us. And we have a faulty drive. So this is the drive that we uh, just plugged in. And as you can see, it comes up caution, uh, reallocated sectors, current pending sector and uncorrectable pending sector, uh, uncorrectable sector count. Uh, so they are all high and this drive is no longer usable. So you can see the power on count is, it's been powered on 11,492 times and it's been powered on for a total of 4,127 hours. That's 171 days and 23 hours of total use. The reason for this is because Microsoft decided it would be a good idea to keep the hard drive running all of the time or most of the time um, for faster load up times but they don't realize that that puts wear onto the uh, console um, which is pretty annoying so it kills the drive faster so I have here if I switch back over to my camera I have a beautiful one terabyte hard drive which just came out of an Xbox and uh, this hard drive is going to replace the one that we've got the one that's in there so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to unplug that drive because I'll, I'll use that drive for um, non-important data storage that's one of the beauties of being a technician so I'm going to take this drive out of its caddy because I need to test it and make sure it's good before we uh, use it in the console so this drive should read as good as far as I know it does but I'm going to test it anyway I don't want to give the uh, customer a bad drive that's just not what I do so plugging that in switch back to desktop and as you can see it's got the Xbox partitions because it's been used as an Xbox drive we're going to rescan and we're reading it good excellent uh, so it's had a bit of use but not it's a good drive um, and the customer didn't want a brand new drive so um, this is all we get at the moment unfortunately um, I do have a 500 gig drive which is good but yeah it's one of them right so what I'm going to do I'm going to plug the customer's old drive back in so here's the customer's drive and I'm going to rescan So as you can see, the power on count is higher on my drive, but the power on hours is lower. It's about half, uh, or about two thirds. Um, but yeah, like I said, the customer doesn't want a brand new drive, um, doesn't want to pay for a brand new drive because they're like 40 something pounds and she'd have to wait two or three days. Uh, so she's opted for the cheaper one, um, which is fine. Uh, she's opted for me to use one of my own drives, which is second hand. I wouldn't put one in that said caution. Uh, but uh, you know I'm not happy at doing it at putting it in when it's got a high power on count right so we're going to change directory on command prompt so you notice we run command prompt as an administrator that's because it's needed for this software so we're going to change directory to the Xbox One hard drive software that we've got and then right click on command prompt to paste and press enter and then what we're going to do is we need to run the PowerShell script um, and this PowerShell script is basically to 
uh, create a new drive or format it and prepare it for a new drive. Uh, prepare the new drive for the console because we need specific partitions there. Uh, so I'm going to run that, so I'm going to type in create and then I'm going to press tab and you can see without the queue there, that was an accident. So you can see it automatically populated it to create underscore xbox underscore drive dot bat. So it's a batch file and press enter and this script is going to run. So it never, it's checking to make sure all of the drive letters are available. Uh, and as you see the drive letters are in use um, so we're going to ignore that and you can see here we've got a few options uh, replace or upgrade without a working original drive uh, replace or upgrade keeping original drive data fix GUID values without formatting the drive backup system update to current directory restore system update from current directory check all partitions for file system errors wipe drive of all partitions and GUI GUID value, values and finally cancel. So we're going to select B because we want to try and retain the user data. And now we need to select the drive that we've got. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a 903 gigabyte drive here. It's the only only one that's one terabyte. So we're going to select drive number three. And now we need to plug in a target drive. So I'm going to use another port on my computer and I'm going to plug in a target drive so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug one of my own drives and I'm going to plug in the target drive so that's the drive that we're putting into the console And I think I might need to, um, yeah, I need to rerun the script. Uh, right, so let's rerun the script. And we're going to select B. And we're going to use drive 3 as the target drive, or as the source drive. And then we're going to select number four as a target drive. And this will erase all data on the disk. Continue. Yes. And then we need to select B for a one terabyte standard. And now we're just going to let this software run and do its thing. Um, and then said, about to copy to the target disk, continue. Yes. And now we're just going to copy all of the data over and uh, hopefully we'll have a working drive with all of the user data, fingers crossed. So we're going to let this run and uh, we'll be back when it's done. I'll probably fast forward through this depending how long it will take, but uh, it will probably take quite a while. So I'll be back shortly. Okay folks, so the software has been running for an awful long time now and um, I'm getting quite bored of waiting. So what I'm going to do while I'm waiting is just give this console a little bit of a clean out. And uh, that way we can save a little bit of time so when it's done um, we can just put it back together. So I'm going to switch over to the, uh, the camera view. And I've just had an iPhone 6s brought in by a friend because he dropped it down the toilet. Uh, so that's going to be a fun one. I might make a video on that. Uh, so just giving this a brush down here because this will save us a bit of time later. I'm not going to give this a thorough clean. But I just wanted to put it on video so you know it's the same console.
actually got a console a video coming out on how to properly clean your Xbox One S. But I want to show you a little cheat I like to do here when I do uh, just a basic clean. I mean, I'm only really charging ten pound fifteen for this hard drive, so I'm not going to get. I'm not going to sit here for ages cleaning it out. Not for ten pound. Okay, so I'm going to show you <coughs> a little bit of a cheat what I like to do for this fan. So you see how this fan is quite dusty. So I'll pop it on. Switch on the console. And obviously it's not going to boot up, there's no hard drive. But while this fan is spinning... I'm just going to leave this brush here. And there you go. So you'll see there now the fan has no dust on it, apart from a couple of little bits which we can just uh, brush and blow away. And there we go. Nice and clean. So that's just a little trick that I wanted to show you guys, um, just to get the uh, the fan clean fairly quickly without having to get all deep and dirty into it. So as I say, just going to give this console a brush down. There we go. So I'm not going to disturb the original thermal paste. It's just there's just no point. Um, this console is not going to overheat, there's no vent blocked, so there's no point in taking that heat sink off. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Right, so I will be back shortly and uh, we'll carry on with the video. Okay, ladies and gents, so the current file that it's on has been stuck for uh, well over 20 minutes now and it's on 71.5%, so it's not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and force quit the uh, application so let's find CMD uh, so I'm just going to kill the processes here there we go so what I'm going to have to do now is uh, I'm going to have to completely clean the drive using this part there we go okay so I'm going to type in list disk and then I'm going to select disk 4 and I'm just going to clean the drive Eventually wants to work. Okay, I think I'm gonna to have to reboot because it's still the drive's still in use. So I'm gonna reboot and I'll be back very shortly. And we're back. 
doesn't take long at all to reboot my computer. Uh, so I'm going to load up disk part again. I've unplugged the uh, the bad drive because I don't want it affecting anything. So again, I'm just going to load up list disk, and then I'm going to select disk one, which is going to be the one that we're working with. It's changed because I've rebooted, uh, and then I'm just going to clean. So I know it's that disk because I don't have a one terabyte drive in my computer. Okay, so that worked then. So I'm going to close out of all of this. And now I'm going to run the same process again, but I'm just going to prepare it as a brand new drive. So run as administrator. And then we're going to change the directory to that one. CRE tab. There we go. Excellent. Right, so th this time instead of selecting B, we're just going to select A. And target drive is going to be number one. Select yes. And select B for one terabyte. There we go. So all of these folders are going to pop up. We're just going to ignore them and close them out. Good. Done. Now we can close out of this and we can switch back over to the camera. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take the drive. I'm going to get the caddy. I know it's this one because it's dusty. So I'm going to clean this a little bit, just uh, give it a little wipe down. Excellent. And then I'm going to take the hard drive connector, pop it back in the drive. And you'll notice I've got I had iPhone screwdrivers. Reason being is because, like I said, a friend of mine just dropped an iPhone six off, uh, iPhone six S off, which he dropped down the toilet. Uh, so the first thing I did before, because obviously I can't get to it right now, so the first thing I did was I uh, I just removed the battery, just to prevent any further damage. There is a short on it on the board, so the board's going to have to come out but uh, I'll make a video on it and it'll probably be the next video that I upload uh, or actually no it probably won't because I've got a console coming in for a uh, case rebuild when, when I drop this one off I've got to go and pick another one up for a case rebuild that's another customer so that one's going to be first so I might make a video on that okay so the way these go in is they route underneath the uh, underneath the caddy, and we just pop that into there, like so. Same with this one underneath the caddy, and into there, and then we're just going to slot that into place. So what I'm going to do first before I do anything else is just screw this hard drive down because when we flip the case upside down it's going to be really awkward um, and the caddy always ends up falling out so <clears throat> screw it in now and it saves us having to mess around later There we go, back together. So let's pop in a HDMI, but first of all, what I want to do is unplug it because when you plug these 
the HDMI leads in. They, uh, unfortunately, blow the retimer chip. Right, I need to pop that back in a sec. There we go. I'll pop the HDMI lead in now. So yeah, I don't I don't like to plug HDMI cables in while it's powered on because it can blow the chip. It's not good. Um, should be loading up in a moment. Okay, dog. Yep, we have the E106 level. That's fine because there's no software on the hard drive. So, we're going to pop in a USB. Uh, actually, let's sync a controller up first. Good. Go to troubleshoot. And you'll see offline system update is grayed out. We're going to pop in the USB. And there we go. Cool. So this is going to run through the setup now. And then it'll be uh, good to go. And it'll be a nice, happy, healthy console once again. So I'll be back in a moment. Okie doke ladies and gents, so we are back, um, I'm going to remove this drive because we don't need it, so I'm going to close this and uh, as you can see everything's done, um, all that's got to be done to this now is it's got to be signed into by the customer, um, set the storage 780.9 gig free which is fine, uh, yeah that's it, it's done. This console is ready to go and uh, another successful repair. So, just to summarise, the green screen of death, as it's known, uh, is caused purely by a faulty hard drive 90% of the time. Uh, sometimes it can, can be related to some hardware on the board or related to, related to the cable, but most of the time it's going to be caused by the hard drive itself because of the amount of time these consoles. Uh, spend switched on so we resolve that by simply swapping out, swapping out the hard drive for, for the, a good drive and reinstalling the software using OSU1 um, let me know what you think down below leave me a comment um, hit like on the video if you liked it and as always please subscribe it really does help the channel a lot and 90% of my viewers don't subscribe so it would really help if you subscribed and uh, that's going to be it for this video until next time, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.